Hello organized friends! In today's video I am so excited to show you the setup of my two Archer and Olive journals for 2023. My name is Belinda, I'm the founder of Organized and Blessed Mom and I'm back with another creative idea. If you're new here please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will know when a new video is posted. All right, friends, I want to show you how I set up this journal. I'm kind of, I'm calling this journal my creative journal for 2023. It's just a place where I'm going to create. Um, I take different uh, classes online. Sometimes I do different journaling challenges and I wanted a journal where I could do that. So it's kind of just going to have random things in it but I hope it turns out uh, really fun uh, to see. This is an A5 uh, journal by Archer and Olive. It was in the December subscription box. So I do have an unboxing of the entire box. Uh, I'll leave it um, down below if you wanna see that video. So I uh, went with like this, I don't know, collage kind of look. I took some words that I found in a magazine and just I just kind of wanted to sprinkle those to show uh, what I thought creativity was for me. I also found this really beautiful uh, picture in one of the magazines. And then I just kind of added some stickers. These stickers are from uh, A Wrong Wrong Book. I'll show you here. And then I did have um, these little doll girls that I got for Christmas from Amazon, which were really cute that I wanted to sprinkle in, of course. And I just put a little bit more of um, stickers. I did stamp the year. I put my name in and I added some Cartabella um, paper. I have, I showed um, an unboxing of this paper some time ago. So I'll leave, I'll leave that also in case you want to see everything that comes in that kit. I love this lady um, drinking her coffee. It, from, it comes from the Cartabella um, kit, paper kit, and I really liked it. Also, these stickers come from that Cartabella uh, package, and then I put one of these girls. I got this from one of the magazines. I cut it out. It, it had another piece to it, but I just wanted the welcome. And I did do my first, um, I guess you could say creative page in here. I created a page to document my word of the year. So I stamped here word of the year. I added some wrong, wrong stickers. And then I put joy since it is a very small word. I did, um, put a little bit of pink ink back there. And then I just wrote, the definition uh, from the dictionary just so that I could document my my word of the year I just think it'll be fun to look back and see um, how my word is documented in this journal as well as in other places where I have it so that is what I have so far in my creative journal I hope to bring you more things this is a dot grid notebook so I'm really not used to the dot grid, but I think um, it's working so far. And this is the way that I've set it up to, um, to use it. Let me show you a couple of things that I used. So I did use the Metropolitan Girl. This is the Cartabella um, paper. Um, and then it comes with stickers and all kinds, all these different papers. And then I did use the Self Love sticker book by Wrong Wrong. And then I also used these um, vintage uh, dolls from Vintage Fashion from Amazon. And they'll, I think it comes 40 pieces. So it's 20, it's two uh, girls each in the package. They have so many in here and they have all colors so I think I got the pink package and then 
also the um, the yellow package. That's what I got. Look at all those girls. Let me show you the other one, which is this um, vintage, and this is the yellow, the yellow packet. Let me show you. They're really, they're really cute. If you like vintage things. They have um, really cute girls, even like a like a wedding dress girl. And then there are some girls in pajamas, but my favorite are these that look really sophisticated. Really nice. And if you're into fashion, this um, I really like these little girls, these little dolls. Um, they dress up the pages really nice. So let me show you the next journal. All right, friends, the next uh, journal that I have is this Archer and Olive 8x8 lined journal. It was also in the December subscription box. So it is uh, much wider, but I have designated this journal as my memory journal. So I am going to go back to journaling my memories, my pictures in a journal. I did that um, some time ago and it was working great and then i kind of fell off um but i'm going to try and do this again i did um decorate here the name page i put my name and then i just sprinkled all kinds of um what did i do here i stamped the year and this memory stamp I also have a lot of stickers from a collection of simple stories that I wasn't using. And then I did stamp a couple Studio Calico uh, stamps that I have from different cities. I also did uh, use one of the papers from the Simple Stories, this travel pack. Um, and I just, I just, taped it down here so I th thought that looked really pretty this is gonna um, just house all our memories so obviously we don't travel every day but it, it will have a lot of you know I'll have everything I'll have uh, what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis where we're going to eat the movies we're watching the books I'm reading just anything I want to pretty much take a picture of um, if, it, if it's in my camera roll, I want to put it here and document something quick about it. And um, so I did do a cover page. So this is my January cover page. I just put January 2023 memories and I put some stickers uh, from the same uh, paper, from the, paper, from the Simple Stories kit. And I took one of the sheets from the Simple Stories and I just attached it there so my plan is to uh, just print out a couple pictures and just write down something you know to explain the picture and I'll, I haven't um, done any more stamping of the day because I, I'm kind of starting the system I'll see how many pages I want to take up I think every day is going to be different since some days I have more pictures than other, but the whole purpose of this uh, memory journal is to document the pictures. I have um, my memory planner where I document real quick just through words, but this is going to be the one where the pictures are going to be uh, sitting. So I want to take all those pictures out of my camera or of my phone and put them somewhere so that I can remember um, what we did during the um, during the month so it doesn't have to be something extraordinary like a trip but um, the trips will be included in there as well so this is a little bit of the this is the papers that I used it's called safe travels from simple stories and has all these different kinds it's a little used up um, I, I've used some of these pages and then I did also use the Simple Stories Safe Travel sticker book. Um, this one, um, I, I have still some left over but it has really fun travel themes. I love the Simple Story 
um, vibe and I also do have the the stamp set that goes with this so this is how I will be using this big 8x8 to just house all my pictures and memories of the day so I hope uh, it just gives you some inspiration and maybe an idea if you are thinking of doing a memory journal well friends as always I thank you for coming to see the video I hope it gives you some inspiration to use up those notebooks that you have I didn't want to leave these notebooks on my shelf I wanted to use them this year so I'll uh, be probably showing you some of these pages on my Instagram and um, I hope it just gave you some inspiration to also use up those notebooks in a creative way. As always, if you like the video, please leave me a like. I really appreciate that. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. All right, friends, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.